hi everybody and welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome so guys I'm gonna start off with some food the stuff that I have to put back in the fridge and I'll start right away with my wish list okay so I love Starbucks uh, coffee okay so here is a espresso vanilla latte um, I don't know what other flavors they have but I've had this type of thing in Starbucks, but mostly I go for chocolate. So I was thinking if this is not really, you know, what I'm looking for um, when I taste it, because I haven't tasted it yet, I'll let you know if it's really, really good. Um, I'm going to add some chocolate to it, okay? So it's very simple to do. I'm just going to add some chocolate, but I cannot wait to try this. This was on my wish list because I had seen it in some people's hauls, and this particular video is going to be my Saturday night shopaholic haul okay and I really appreciate you all coming along and watching and it's going to be filled with wish list new stuff I've never seen stuff that was on my list to get that I always get and um, you know things like that so let's go ahead and just jump right into the cold stuff first but I had to get that I just could not wait when I saw that I was like yes grab a couple and then I had to grab some of my bacon I always get this bacon, so I grabbed two of these, um, and then I grabbed like three packs of these because these are so delicious, guys. I am obsessed with these potatoes, and every time I see them, I have to grab them, okay? Now, this is something that I had not seen before. I know they have smoothies there before, but I had never seen the strawberry, banana, mango, and spinach, and the spinach kind of caught my eye because I want to try to get something really, really you know, like healthy that's already mixed in together. So I can't wait to try this um, particular smoothie starter. And I grabbed a couple of those and then I grabbed a couple of these because these are always nice and cold. That's why I grabbed them. So in case I want one in the car. And then I grabbed like about three or four of these too. But I didn't want to take everything out of the fridge right now because I got to put all that cold stuff back. So I'll come back with some more food in a sec. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and we'll start on the food that, um, you know, just pantry food. So this says rice and pasta blend with bell peppers and sweet tomato sauce. I don't remember if I tried this or not, but I love that name, Nor, so I can't wait to try this. Um, I honestly do not think I have tried this yet. Okay, so I grabbed some of these pork and beans, a couple of cans, because I have the little cans of salchichas too, like the little baby soft hot dogs and my grandson absolutely loves to eat right out of the um, can so sometimes i'll mix um beans with those little salchichas and um these are not my favorite favorite beans i like to have like the b m's but i can add things to this i can add bacon on my own and i can add some like brown sugar you know i can even add some like little onions if i want so anyway, guys, you can doctor up beans anyway. I looked it up online. You can do all kinds of stuff with beans. So I grabbed some of these to mix in with the, fry up the little salchiches and just throw these right over it. And guys, if you have not tried these, I recommend that you do try these, okay? They're a little bit on the dry side, but they're delicious, okay? They have no artificial flavors. The other flavors in there of this um, Sunbest Dutch Bakers, whatever, um, they do have artificial flavors like the blueberry one does and the strawberry one does. This caught my eye because it doesn't. I checked it on the back. It doesn't. And there's, um, I want to say there's like, yeah, there's four bars in here. And I had two last night. The first one was so good. I just had to go right after another one. But these are really, really good. But I had it with a nice little cup of tea, you know, because I noticed it was a little bit dry, but really, really good. My, one of my new favorites. And then I usually grab this when I see it because it's really good. It's so easy to cook. All you do is like you rip it like, you know, bolt to here. And then you put it in the microwave for uh, 90 seconds. And But you squish it up a little bit first before you split it open and start cooking it. It comes out really, really good. It's so good. Okay, guys, I adjusted the light a little bit. Hopefully you can see good. Um, I got this because this is onion soup and dip mix. At first I thought it was just dip, but I realized now you can do it different ways. So the one way to do it is you just add the water for the soup. Then you can add the sour cream for the onion dip. And then they have an uh, onion and avocado dip um, recipe up there on the right. No artificial flavors, but it does have high sodium if you're watching, you know, like your blood pressure. 
but um, I checked it all out. It seems like something I'm going to try. I cannot wait to try it. Okay, so close, guys, to being done with the food, just in case you do get bored with this type of part of the, you know, this part of the video, because I'll just let you know that um, it is going to be kind of a long video, so um, I should have said that in the beginning. <laughs> so if you like long videos, right, um, it's not too late to change your mind. <laughs> but anyway, I got this um, chicken made with white meat, and it's by Clark, and it's a chicken spread, okay? And it opens easy, all right, it has a good date on it. And I haven't tried it yet. I'm gonna try it. It's probably got a lot of sodium in it, but I just be I have you know pick and choose where when I'm gonna eat the sodium. And this is deviled ham spread. I didn't know that they could call another brand deviled ham, right? But anyway, Clark deviled ham. Um, and unless that is the brand and they just changed the packaging, I don't know. But anyway, I don't think so though. But anyway, I can't wait to try this too because I love deviled ham. When I was a kid, I remember growing up and eating deviled ham. I've had it in, like in the past like you know a few years or so too and you can always add things to this too but anyway i can't wait to try these okay i forgot that um i did buy some of these i didn't realize i did end up buying these so these are the arma vienna sausage the one i was calling salchichas um so anyway i did end up getting a can of this too all right so um i grabbed one of these because i noticed that Sometimes mine only lasts a couple of months, the ones that I buy at the Dollar Tree. I don't know whether it is because I buy them at the Dollar Tree. But anyway, I, I find that, like, even the cords don't really last that long. But, you know, you get them because they're cheap. But I, I might have to invest in a, a little bit of more of expensive car charger at some point. And then I got these flexible mailers. There's three in here. And let me just open it up for you because I don't even really know how these things are. I'll tell you how they feel, if they feel strong. All right, so this three here. Um, yeah, they feel like that material that it's not as strong as like Tyvek. But if I was going to put anything in here, I'd also put bubble wrap in here because it's, it's a little bit, I would say, let me see. Well, you pull on it, it's pretty strong. So, But I would still put bubble wrap in that. And then I did get one of these mailers because I'm going to mail out something single. And then I ended up getting one of these Jot Dry Erase Boards um, for, you know, just to have. And does it, yeah, this has magnets on the back of it so you can put it on the fridge. Okay, guys, let's get to the goodies, okay? So I saw some people hauling and showing some fall, you know, the new stuff. And I wasn't seeing it in my stores, but I was keeping my fingers crossed that it would show up, you know, little stuff like this, okay? So how adorable is that? It's like it would go on like a little tear tray, a little cup, happy fall, y'all. That's one of my favorite sayings. If you've watched my channel, you know I love that saying, okay? Um... So anyway, guys, I got this, and I got all of the little things like that. I got the Happy Pumpkin Spice Season, and they're made out of really good thick wood, too, okay? And then I got the Thankful and Blessed, which I think is probably my, well, there's another one coming up that might be my favorite, too. Thankful and Blessed, though, how adorable. I mean, I can't even stand how cute these are. Okay, when I saw them, I was like, oh my God. But anyway, pumpkin patch. Okay, it's like a little thing, like a cider thing. I had never seen this before. Okay, I think mine's a little bit beat up because I just wanted to grab it quick. But that is so adorable, right? I never ever, like these ones, like this one kind of looks a little bit familiar to me. But I had never seen this one either, this happy fall, y'all. And this one I positively had never seen before, a happy pumpkin spice season okay now that basically says the same thing as this say but one is more like a cup and this is more like a to-go cup <laughs> right so how adorable are these i think this might be of all my favorite i think i have to say this is my favorite okay so and they weren't even in the section where you see all the um you know the seasonal stuff these were like on an end cap near the front of the store so you're not going to be you know 
you don't always see the um, the new stuff in that section because I had even asked the guy that works there I said did you get the little you know things in and he goes well we're, we're putting them out now and I said well these are like little you know when I explained it to him and he says I haven't seen those yet but he may not have been on the shift that they put these out on probably the night before because I go in that store almost every day so anyway <clears throat> I grabbed him he he didn't even really know that they were there I mean, it was, he couldn't help it I think he was new too but anyway guys I saw these um, and of course I got them I think there might have been one or two that I left behind but I think I got most of them I mean, I didn't, in other words, I don't want to say that I took them all. Like, uh, I'm talking about the styles of them because I, I didn't, like, raid the shelves, you know. <laughs> okay, so when I saw this, I was like, oh, my God. This is the first thing that kind of popped in my eye when I walked in. I was like, oh, they got those things. It's got the pie with the rolling pin blessing. And there was a couple of them. I grabbed that one because I thought that was so cute because I might give that to my daughter. But this one, I'm definitely keeping for myself. This is pumpkin pie, thankful. I know there is, let me get that other one out of the way. I know there is another one. I know it. I just can't think of what it said on it. But isn't that so cute, right? Pumpkin pie, thankful. You could even take it apart if you didn't, you know, didn't want to keep it together. But the other one that I saw had this kind of pie on it. And I don't remember what it said, but it said something different at the bottom of the pie. And then it said something different across the rolling pin. Okay, guys. So I have to be really, really careful of what I buy because I wanted to buy every single thing there. Okay. They had these, a whole bunch of different ones. Some of them had like more of an orangey background. Falling leaves, give thanks, pumpkin patch. The reason I picked this one is because of that bluish color in it. It was something that I had never seen before. Um, so that's the reason. But they did have a whole bunch of different ones of these. But I decided that, you know, I'm not going to go crazy this year because I have so many things from last year. Okay. So um, as, you know, maybe everybody does, I get a little bit overboard and I go a little crazy. But I'm not going to do that this year. So I was, you know, kind of keep myself in check. But um, there were some more of these that were really, really cute too. And then this is very similar to something they had had before. As a matter of fact, it might be exact. It's supposed to look like a, a, a bunch of, you know, three little books together. And I want to say that I, I might have this already, but it's not that big toward the back. Um, and you can stand it up like that, like in a bookcase, make it look like it's books, you know, on a shelf if you want. Um, when you get the other ones, you know, or just, just like that with maybe something next to it. Or like that with something on top of it or you know what I mean like you could do something like that like put a little pumpkin over here and a little pumpkin there but anyway guys this is so adorable right it's got the plastic on it still because if I end up having it already I'll give that to my daughter as well and by the way stick around toward the end of the video because you're gonna um, if you if you like um, surprises okay <laughs> that's all I gotta say Okay, guys, so now we're getting to my favorite part of this video. Uh, like, maybe close to my favorite part. How gorgeous is this sign, okay? This looks like something straight out of, like, the 1920s, 30s, or 40s. So retro, okay? I mean, I cannot even believe how gorgeous they made these signs. All right, and it's really, really solid. It's like a nice... Well, it's not like super, super solid, but it's like that thicker particle board, right? And it's got the thicker pieces of wood up here, almost making it look like it's... I can't think of that word I'm trying to say. But um, it's got everything on. It's got the hot apple cider, how you make the hot apple cider, what you need first, okay? And then, you know, put them all... I guess this is how you do it. You, in a large pot, you add all the ingredients, you heat the mixture... Stir frequently, pour into mugs, and add cinnamon stick if desired. That is so gorgeous. Right, let me see how tall it is. Okay, I kind of guessed it. It's a little bit more than 12 inches high, right? And then let me see how wide it is. It's a good size. That's why I wanted to measure it. It is 9 inches wide if you go from, like, you know, there to there. How 
I can't even stand how gorgeous this is, okay? This is so gorgeous, but it gets better. Okay, the gorgeousness is like killing me, okay? I can't even stand it. Homemade pumpkin pie, okay? Then you've got all your ingredients right there. And just the pictures. I mean, they get the pictures of everything. They get the piece of pie. They got the little, I don't know if that's a pumpkin or not, next to it with the leaf. And then they got like the little measuring spoons and the eggs. And then how beautiful is that? My God, I can't even stand how gorgeous this is. Because I'm a big, big retro person. I love anything from like days gone by. And you know, you know, people don't use wallpaper anymore, but I could see myself putting all these signs all over my kitchen wall and making it look like putting so many signs on there that it looks like wallpaper because these are so gorgeous. All right. So look at that. Same size as the other one. And then of course I couldn't leave without all three of them. I checked and I didn't see any other ones. I think there's only the apple, the pumpkin, and then the hot the hot cider. So there's the apple pie with all the pictures and the ingredients. It almost looks like it comes out of a magazine. You know what I mean? It is so beautiful. And then it tells you what to do. Guys, I can't even believe Dollar Tree really, really outdid themselves on these signs. I have never seen them before. Not in this condition, not in this thickness, not in this like hobby lobby kind of style do you know what i mean like usually you'd see something like this in hobby lobby or maybe even like home goods or at home or something like that they really really stepping it up with that a dollar 25 edition you know that 25 cents extra is making a difference in some parts of the store i just love this and then last but not least but not totally last because there's more to the video but this is the last thing I'm going to show you is I got this cute, adorable little squared off um, rolling pin that says Hello Pumpkin. And I had to get two of them. I had to. Okay. You know, I think this is actually very DIYable. Okay. Because they sell like, you don't, maybe wouldn't get it this big, but they sell like these little shapes in Dollar Tree that look like little rolling pins. Not in a dent like that, but like that type. And then if you had a small square, because I had made some rolling pins before with, you know, in a different way. But this is so adorable, right? You could easily DIY this and write whatever you want on it. But I like Hello Pumpkin, okay? So let's keep one of them up and I'll tell you why. Because guys, if you've been watching it uh, through the whole video, you're going to see that I'm going to do my giveaway. And I'm going to have the hashtag put into this video so that you guys can join in if you like what you're going to see and um because i've been kind of adding to it and so i'm going to show you everything i have in the video i mean in the giveaway box and um then we're going to go ahead and we'll, i'll tell you what the hashtag is going to be because i still don't know yet but we're going to figure it out in a minute okay so as i said this is going to go in the video i'm <laughs> i keep saying that this is going to go in the giveaway okay and this is a really sturdy solid thing too i love it okay and then i had a couple of these cars and i decided i'm going to put this one you know one of these this one in the video um if i say that again oh my god if i'm going to put this in the giveaway it's the hw braille racer twin mill and it's such a beautiful car it's white it's got the gray stripe down it. it's hot wheels new for 2023 and I just thought this was like a really, really cool car, you know, because some of the Hot Wheels come up with some really cool cars. And I just thought that would be great for the giveaway. So those are the two new additions. And then last video, when I was talking about when I was going to do the giveaway, I showed that these, um, you know, these calendars are going in. So that one and that one. Okay. So we got those. And then... I had, let me just go ahead and make sure I got everything right, okay? Okay, and I showed these little goodies early on, about a month ago. Um, this is like the little strawberry scented highlighter, okay? And then I have this soap. I kept one for me. 
And when you take the plastic off it, those little black dots are not on it. But the soap is really cute still with the green and the pink. And then here's like one of the makeup sponges. Okay. And then I have one of these. The um, eyes, lips, and the face. Which I loved. I always like to put things in that I love. And then I had said that these kind of remind me of the Selena Gomez sunglasses. So um, I put these in there. Um, and then I got this lipstick and this is called um, brown blush and this is let me just double check who this is by hold on yeah sometimes when I'm looking right at it I can't see it but it's by Maybelline okay and then I already put that no this is the other blush right here I don't want to put two in by mistake then there's this one okay and then this is like a brush cleaner it's called the makeup brush cleaning mat and then I don't know if I showed you guys that I had put some magnetic list pads in there so there's a mag that's a magnetic list was only one I think and then you got Los Angeles California the notebook that you can write in so you just to jot some stuff down okay and then I have a little bag over here oh here's like the the bath bomb Okay, uh, it probably doesn't. Ha I didn't use the bath bomb yet that I kept myself. It probably does not have those little black seed dots on it as well. And then I put the fashion headband in there. I don't know whether or not like it's purple or blue because sometimes I'll say somebody to somebody it's purple and they'll say no it's blue. So it's like a royal blue to me. Okay, and then this be happy. Um, Everything's brand new, obviously, and pretty much everything's from, from the Dollar Tree. And Dollar Tree has nothing to do with this giveaway. Neither does YouTube. It's all me. Sunshine, sunburn, sunset, repeat. You might have seen some of these already before that I had showed you. And I'm keeping this in a plastic bag so it'll be nice and safe because, you know, it's one of those scrubbies. So if I can find anything else that I think would be really cute to go along with this, guys, I'll definitely do it. But how about we do um, for the hashtag Hello Pumpkin, okay? And I'm going to leave the giveaway open until the very last day of July. And then on August 1st or 2nd, but it's going to close right on July 31st at midnight, you know, like California time. So for some people, it'll be like 3 o'clock in the morning, right? If you're on the East Coast, it'll be 3 o'clock in the morning. But I'll do 12 o'clock midnight. California time it'll end on July 1st once it turns August 1st I'm not gonna um, take any more names and um, what I'll do is I will give myself a day or two to get everything together and you know the bo box it up and everything and then I'll um, I'll pull the name either August 1st or 2nd okay just give me a couple days to pull it and then give me about another week to send it out okay because um I just you know I'm working and all that stuff too you know what I mean so guys thank you so much for supporting my channel I got a couple more giveaways I got to do because I'm getting close to the middle of the numbers that I need for watch time so I'll do like a watch time giveaway and I still gotta get back on track of doing my 5,000 subscriber giveaway too you know now that I hit 5,000 subscribers I gotta do that too but this is the one that I promised for the summer so guys I appreciate you all more than you know you guys are the best and i just you know i'm so happy that i get to be able to do this okay i found a box big enough to put everything in so the these are going to fit in there because i was like oh my god now that i said i'm gonna give those um you know away the the calendars how am i going to fit them in, in the box but i i found a box so anyway guys thanks so much for watching i really appreciate it and i'll see you in the next video bye now